You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! And we're live. Welcome back to part 47 of the full game commentary. I'm your friendly neighborhood, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Arthur is in San Denis, currently working on all these stranger missions and avoiding Shady Bell. I do believe Chapter 4 has the most interesting stranger encounters, and we are going to knock them all out before that bank robbery Hosea is planning. Let's get started. Excuse me, pardon. Hello? Yep. Hey there, mister. Hey there. Consulting the map, look at all of that white fog. We need to avoid Trelawney and, of course, Mary. Brother Dorkins, while technically a stranger mission, advances the plot too much, and we want to freeze time as much as we can right now. Let's go check out this tavern. That is, if Arthur can remember how to get in. Recall that this is the tavern that had the rat problem. Glad to see they're back in business. What's a couple rats between friends? Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Hello! Just one little drink, come on! How are you? Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Oh. Thank you. Santé. <clears throat> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <clears throat> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> it's so nice to see Arthur laughing. Also note the angle, it's like the camera is on the bar. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. Saint Denis, a smelly, filthy place full of old buildings and ghosts and French people. Seems about right. You know, uh... Arthur. I don't mind if Arthur introduces his first name as long as he doesn't mention Morgan. He's Arthur Callahan, or perhaps Arthur Kilgore. Stop making it easy for the Pinkertons. However, we can trust Charles, more or less. He's all about art and women. 
Women are art to Charles Chatonnet. They inspire him. Very understandable. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art. I like these cutscenes because you can grab some great, very cinematic screenshots. Arthur will take a moment to post for the thumbnail and also the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for my second gaming channel, Twitter, and our Discord. It is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Eh? You know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. <coughs> that was fun. Let's take a look at the drawing Charles gave us. Note the geometric angles of the breast and elbows and the stark contrasting. It's almost cubist. You know cubism, of course. Picasso, Dali, Mondrian. Cubism is about 10 years away in Paris, but it's in the air, and Charles is developing a similar style. What's next? Or rather, who's next? Let's go to the edge of town. Hey, mister. Howdy, sir. Ah, excuse me, bud! I was hoping we could climb this fence and jump to the cutscene. Another mad scientist in Saint Denis? Yes, please. I like his goggles. What? <laughs> yes. Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. Hey. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh. Look at the scale of that wagon wheel. It might be the angle, but that wheel looks bigger than Arthur. All right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Okay, let's go talk to Alden. Also note this tree. Looks very swamp-like. They are on the edge of the swamp here. Let's move on. On the way to Rhodes, we collected some egrets for Algernon.
Here is our location. Egrets are notoriously difficult to find. They spawn around water in the swamp. We will be doing most of our egret collecting off camera, but Arthur will have a video entitled The Ultimate Guide to Algernon Wasp's Exotic Quest just before we do that bank robbery. Moving on. And back in Rhodes, time to talk to Alden. I guess we have to go to the other window. Doesn't look like he's going to turn around. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Um, need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well. You might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Money to be made on the new rail. Alden, like everyone in the game, has exquisite penmanship. That is a dying art. Coach robbery tip. Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north of Saint Denis. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. X. You are a disgrace. Take a look at yourself. Hey, mister. Evening. And how are things? And a bounty hunter poster. Do we have time to do a bounty? I think we do. I think we have to. Quite some poster, eh? If I looked like that, I would have pursued a more dishonest path myself. Bounty poster for Mark Johnson. Wanted $25 reward. Mark Johnson. For stage and train robberies who evaded capture years ago and is still at large. He is to be captured alive. Last seen in the region of Siltwater Strand. For rewards collections, contact H. Thomas, Rhodes Sheriff Office. I happen to know that fella is farming the swamp trying to, up by Siltwater Strand. He's a bad egg. Fancy that. I seen them coming and going here and I never had an inkling. Can you believe I just heard one of them demanding equal treatment to us whites? Mark Johnson, I mean, the bounty. What I need to know. You gotta be wary of this one? Just the other day, he took his son out on the rails. He seemed nice enough. Seemed, when quite clearly, he is not. It can be confusing. 25 bucks hardly seems worth it. Squeezed out some extra dialogue with Alden, however. Checking the map, I think we'll do Mark Johnson first. He's closer. Yeah. <laughs> and minding our own business, we ran straight into a Lemoyne Raider ambush. Took a bit of a tumble here, complicates things, but at least we don't have to worry about the horse. Also, Arthur can field test his new M1899.
Easy enough. Poor horse is a little freaked out. Arthur plans to give this horse to Tilly once he upgrades to that piebald Tobiano when he comes back from his tropical vacation, if you know what I mean. Let's move on. Mark Johnson is around here somewhere. We need to take him alive. We better take a miracle tonic in case he puts up a fight. We ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. <gasps> You're here for your bounty. <gasps> Come to Mama, boy. Don't shoot. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? No, don't. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? Interesting. There is no option to spare or let go. Can we trust this Mark Johnson? What did he say to his son? Is that kid going to shoot at us? Bastard! Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. I love you, Daddy. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. Andy slipped the knots. That's new. Also, very irritating. Oh, no, you don't. Damn. Be a man about this. I'll do these times this time. How's that? You're coming with me. Point and all that. Could have got your neck broke. Premature. Now Arthur really wants to hit him. small Holden. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. 
You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out in the bayou. Wasn't hurting no one. Your past catches up with you. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. And the sheriff has to remember how his predecessor was shot down in front of his office by the notorious Vanderlind gang. He doesn't have a description or even a poster of one Arthur Callahan. Law enforcement is so inconsistent in this game. Not complaining, just commenting. Tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. Don't you believe in redemption? I worked the land, I raised a family, I redeemed myself, please! You ran, and you kept running. Don't twist this any other way. Should be another poster going up soon. Rhodes means to clean up its environs. I built a home out in the godforsaken country. Land no one would want. I made amends, I promise. This feels more like a Chapter 6 bounty, if you know what I mean. Lots of know what I means in this video. Let's move on. Hey, mister. We have a date with a moonshine wagon. Okay, let's get ready. Health item for the horse. And then we have the Evans Repeater. We really need to customize and do a review. 24 rounds solves a lot of problems. Here is the map. We are in Blue Water Marsh. Idiot. Ah, where's this shine? And once we cross this bridge, the wagon will spawn. There they are, two drivers and two guards on horseback. Try not to kill the horses and remember that moonshine is highly volatile. Good enough, let's get this shine back to Andrew Bell. Any relation to Alexander Graham Bell, I wonder? So, I got your moonshine! You're a wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? 
<clears throat> oh, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. N nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? You see, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful! Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, c could you do that? Hmm? Easy. And now we need to talk to the police chief. We just did a bounty for him, so we should be fine. Excellent, excellent! All oh, this wonderful methanol! Um, would you give me some room? What's wrong with you? Uh, hey, this is all part of my process. Now you have your own work to do, don't you? Now move along. Cut that. I have no more time to waste on you. My friend, the, the sooner you speak to the chief, the sooner we can show everyone. Wanted to do the wrap up here, but he wouldn't stop talking. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Consider joining the channel and becoming a member for deputy badges by your name, custom emoticons in the premiere chats, and credits in every video, and daily members only community posts featuring my random musings on life. TV and movie reviews, and exclusive photos. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Arthur made a couple friends today, and he has no plans on returning to Shady Bell anytime soon. I'll see you in part 48. Hello, ma'am. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I have Appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know.